Why am I low HP? Well, all right. Uh, I don't remember where I left off. I think I finished. Uh, what is it called? Abyssia. I finished Abyssia. What do you mean? What did I do? Oh my god, I'm wanted, that's why. Alright, let me tear up some papers then. Where is it? Let me just ping where I'm supposed to go. Uh, Karkh. Should I go to Karkh or... Sharkia? Oh, that's Sharkia. Yeah, that's Sharkia, that's Karkh. Alright, let's go to here, I guess. Never mind, that's... What is it in here? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Uh, let's just do this first. And then... Uh, do this mission. Contract. Oh, I'll do this one later. Okay, this is Sharkia. This is Kach. Okay, so we'll do the Kachon first and then Sharkia. Uh, what is this? There's no contracts anywhere. Here, they're all down there. So there's one here. There's a side mission. <sighs> okay, we'll do the contract. We'll do the side mission. Then, then we will... If, if we find any view, uh, viewpoints nearby, then we're gonna do that first. Including this contract. And then we can go straight to the main mission. Alright. Let me check what I can uh, get on the skill skill tree. Mm. Incubus perception is increased, making things easier. Plus steps, vision boost. I need the vision boost. So I need like three, six. I need six skill points for that. I don't need engineer. Maybe I do a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, extra tool capacity, not yet. I mean, I'm okay with smoke bombs and blow darts and throwing knives. I don't need fucking the, the gas thingy. Or the noisemaker. Focus boost. I don't use the teleportation as much to be honest, but yeah, I'll get that later. Control, I do need that. But yeah, I can always get it. Whatever I'm in combat, just you know, reset the skills. All right. This is the place. What place? Oh, the side mission. Lend me your eyes. The monastery of the Virgins. Typical church names. 
That's alright, buddy. I'm just gonna find a way to climb. And there it is. I didn't mean to. Like, bro. Bro, like, why is this game so annoying? I literally wanted to assassinate the guy to my right, not to my left. <laughs> Why do we start? I don't care. Uh, 240s? Yeah, this one. Like, bro, come on. Like, why? Like, bro, like, okay, this is the one thing that I really need to fix right now. This bug is so stupid. Like the hitbox and the radius, the prompt is just so out of place. They really need to fix it. I am not here. Going to go to the Hamburg to hear your sensation. Best to get them right for the Nahadish. They finally caught the topic point thing. The one started. <laughs> I don't have the chin assassination. I do. So why did I? Oh, you use your throwing knives. But I already have throwing knives. Oh, this game is weird. Like I said, like the radius is insane. Let me just do the viewpoint first. And then I get it. Shut this place down for a dozen transgressions. They know how to make the money, so he will indulge in the alcohol. Me, I am more interested in their hidden treasures. What's wrong with you? Hey, what was that?
Like, if that's what I'm saying, man. Like, other games would have been an easy leap of faith from any direction that you look at. This game is so weird. Why I don't like it. Pretty sure it's just bugs, but still, it's just so annoying. This jar should be heavy enough to shift those stones. There are no more heavy jars nearby. I should look elsewhere. There were some outside. Vow of poverty, my eye. This could blind one with greed. The Carolingian. I see why Durwish would covet this coin.
All right, that was decent. I am tempted to keep this coin, but I could never cross the wish. No, they're tripping balls, it's not me. I don't see any poster. Bro. Best I stay hidden. I need your help. Thank you, though. Not the warmest of receptions. Let me pickpocket this fucker real quick. Reconsider the approach. Where is this guy? I want to kill him. Hmm. Vigilant. Let's not go now, Enkidu. Is that him? You're dead. You are dead. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you are. Don't beat my fucking bird like that. That person looks suspicious. I should investigate. Anyways, where's the guy? can explore safely now. Hey, 
No posters gonna buy. Come on, not even a single posters. Do you take me for There needs to be balance in the market. Any respectable merchant knows that. If my father sees this. Murjana, daughter of Ali Baba? Who asks? Call me Basim. We received your letter back at the bureau. Ah, the hidden ones, yes. Well, if I waited any longer, camels would have sprouted wings on their humps. We can skip the prattle. Come, time is running and so shall we. Wait, where are we going? To find my father. Lead the way. I prepared the horses. How did you find us? One hears many things in Baghdad, especially when your father knows every trader in the city. Ali Baba, in your letter you mentioned he was in danger. Hmm, without a doubt. Have you heard of the 40 thieves? The notorious bandits. Led by the king of thieves. Legend says he wields a flaming sword. The boys I grew up with would not stop talking about him. I thought it a legend, a tale told to children. My father has been involved with them. For thieves, they are surprisingly skilled at trading. Your father was meeting them on their territory. A terrible idea. I have told him a thousand times not to deal with the likes of thieves. But my words are the wind. Now look where we are. Me working with hidden ones to make sure he is safe. You must love your father if you hire the Hidden One to play guard. We travel together, and I am the protector of his caravans. I have responsibility for his well-being, and a daughter worries. These thieves are not to be taken lightly. You are my reserve should I need aid. The plan is simple. We keep watch from afar, and should anything happen, follow my lead. Ostrich? I just realized I barely saw any animals in this game because I'm usually in the city on like the wild wilderness. We're near. Are there like lions and shit? That would be nice if there is. Morjana, we do not know what transpired yet. I do not see my father. There. We need to get down there now. What happened to what? You're not going to waste time. I like that. Wait, what? 
Oh my god, this game! Is that him? Nope. No fuss. Is that that is him? Yeah. Morjana. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. I do not believe that this is the last of the thieves. There must be more. We must go. Yes. Oh damn, you're fucking strong if you can carry your dad like this. And remembered the way it should be. Meet me at my home near the bazaar. I'll make payment for your services there. Alright. <sighs> What's wrong, Besson? The 1001 night. Does that sound familiar? A drawing in a rich tradition of Indian and Persian literature, the Arabic collection of folk tales, 1001 night. First appeared in 9th century Baghdad, despite its name, it initially included about 200 stories which used the settings of the time. The great cities of Baghdad and Damascus, the Caliph Harun al Rashid, or the life of the bazaar as a backdrop. At the center of the compilation is the famous frame story of Shahrazad, a brilliant woman who volunteers to marry the king Shahriyar. After his first wife cheated on him and broke his heart, the king reacted by marrying a new woman every night, having her executed in the morning so no one could be unfaithful to him again. To save her life, the and that of other women, each night Shahrazad tells the king a portion of a story always ending with a cliffhanger, so the king will have to spare her life another night. These stories take many forms, from child-friendly animal tales to highly erotic poems. Some last only a few paragraphs, other dozens of pages. They cover many topics and touch on many themes, among them justice and unjust treatment Shahrazad has inflicted to his wives. The theme of women acting to save lives by telling stories was a popular one. Pictured here are scenes from the 
seen the part Nama in which the women of the harem tell stories to save a young prince's life. The, thousand, uh, the one thousand and one nights uh, was described with contempt by the tenth century bookseller Ibn al Nadim, who considered its theme unfit for a cultivated audience. But his opinion was obviously not shared, as the compilation popularity throughout Abbasid society helped it survive helped us survive and spread to the entire empire and beyond. Storytellers and scribes from various cultures have added, subtracted, and altered individual stories ever since. Some of its most famous tales, Aladdin or Alibaba, were even added as late as the 18th century. This long cross-cultural evolution helps explain the universal appeal of the 1001 Nights. Interesting. Astronomy and Astrology It is said that if you are ever lost in a desert, looking at the stars will help you steer your way to safety. Like their Amayad predecessors, the Abbasid Caliph certainly believed in the usefulness of stargazing and funded the construction of observation, observatories and the translation of many Greek, Indian, and Persian astronomical astronomical works. One of the most important Arabic works of astronomy from this period was the 10th century treatise on the fixed stars, a commentary on Ptolemy al Majest of Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi, illustrated with exceptions of stars and constellations known for known from classical in it was widely copied and used for centuries after El Sufi is credited as the first astronomer on record, on record to have observed the Andromeda Galaxy. Abbasid astronomers were not only interested in the science of astronomy, they were also interested in practical applications, especially astrology, the art of, determ the art of determining Auspicious days for activities, for instance, Al Mansur sought the help of astrologers in choosing where and when to build Baghdad, attempting to decipher the future in such a way required an excessive, extensive understanding of the movements of the heavenly bodies. Time consuming observations and elaborate calculations were needed to create astronomical tables that described the Precise positions of the moon, the sun, and the five known planets, Percy, uh, Mercury, the Venus, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter, and special events such as floods and invasions were noted next to them and could be used to suggest casualty between the stars and human life. <clears throat> Astronomy was therefore seen as a tool for astrology, but it could also be used on its own for calculating prayer times or land surveying whatever their final objective. Abbasid era astronomers contributed enormously to astronomical knowledge and were responsible for the discovery of many stars Al Ta'ir, Al Debaran, and the coinage of many astronomical terms Azimut Nadir and are still that are still used today. Interesting. Dhimi. The term Dima means obligations and was used in Abbasid times to refer to conquer peoples under, under a specific tax obligation to the government. People of the Dima called Dimas were often descendants of the Christians, Jews, Zoroastrians, and others whose communities came under the control of the Abbasid Empire. They made up a large part of the empire's population. Their statue was justified by Quranic verses dis distinguishing between monotheistic non-Muslims and polytheistic pagans. The latter had to be converted, while the former were entitled to their life, their property, and their freedom of religion in exchange for their loyalty and the payment of tax. The tax receipts like this one were therefore very important to prove their status. Many Dimis 
played important and public roles in the empire. For instance, Syrian Christians played a significant role in, tra in translations in initiatives. The most famous translator of the time was Hunayn ibn Ishaq, an historian Christian physician having mastered Arabic, Syriac, Greek, and Persian. He translated more than a hundred works spe specializing in medical and scientific texts. For this, he was paid handsomely, as much as some provincial governors. Other Demis served the Abbasid caliphs as physicians, astronomers, tax collectors, and even desires. The policy was born out of self-interest for the caliphs during the Islamic expansion of the 7th and the 8th century. Very few Muslims had the administrative know how to ensure the continuous day-to-day -day management of the cities they were conquering and letting the local elites keep some of the power facilitated their surrender immensely. During the Abbasid times, this still held true when caliphs al-Mansur attempted to remove Themis from his administration. He was soon compelled to return them to their positions due to their expertise. The Abbasid Revolution the, Abbad uh, the Abbasids came to power following revolution from 747 to 750 AD, during which family members descended from the Prophet Muhammad uncle Al Abbas led Arab dissenters, largely composed of troops from Iraqi and Khurasani, Khurasani regiments, against the Umayyad caliphs in Damascus. Of particular import was the military leader Abu Muslim, a general of either Iraqi or Persian descendant, whose pa prowess on the battlefield eventually led to the toppings of the reigning dynasty. The Umayyad dynasty had been caliphs since 1661. As a result of rapid expansion of the empire in the ensuing years, tensions aroused between local peoples and Umayyad administrators. In the 1470s, the Umayyad empire was significantly challenged by North African peoples. The massive number of troops sent to these western lands in the failed attempt to reassert Caliphal authority in the region aided the Abbasid revolution in the east. The notables of the Eastern Empire who were unhappy with the Korean dynasty spe specifically their tax policies indeed took advantage of the weakened Umayyad military position to attack its Syrian heartlands. The power base of dynasty with fewer troops available, the Umayyad center of Damascus soon fell to Abu Muslim troops after the Battle of the Abu, after, after the Battle of Zab in 750. After the victory, the newly installed Abbasid Caliphs struggled with what to do with the dangerously popular hero of the revolution. Eventually, to secure his power, Hassan Mansur, Caliph Mansur, had the troublesome Abu Muslim assassinated the Abbasid dynasty. However, it continued to rely on its Persian power base, a fact reflected both in the move of the caliph of the capital to a more eastern city, Baghdad, as well as in the choice of the top. Founding of Baghdad When the Abbasids overthrew the Umayyads in 750, they quickly decided to relocate their capital away from the Umayyad center of power. In Damascus in 762, Caliph al Mansur founded a new city which served as his family's residence for the next half millennium. After a personal reconnaissance of er, central Iraq, he chose a fertile plain bounded by the Tigris River next to the village, next to a village called Baghdad, God given in Persian. In selecting, his, in selecting this location, al Mansur participated in a long tradition of imperial cities in the region, both the Greek Seleucids and the Persian Sasanians had found and founded their capitals of Seleucia, I don't know how you pronounce that, and Tessiphon or Tessiphon or Satisphon, I don't know. 
Rest uh, respectively. In the area, legend has it a few kilometers to the north of these ruins, the caliphs used his sword to draw three concentric circles in the sand, upon which the city walls were built. Inside the city, he installed his palace, large gardens, governments, officials, and military barracks. In keeping with the office with the offices and the military barracks, in keeping with the Roman tradition of the city layout, the the concentric circles were divided into four quadrants by Ardo Maximus and a Damascus Maximus, which upon leaving the city led to the various led to a various part of the empire. From the start of this from the start, the city had many names. Al Mansur called it Medinat al Mansur, the city of Mansur. His administration are the round city, and most of its habitant, Medinat al Salam, in reference to the Quranic paradise. In time, all these names disappeared and only Baghdad remained. Soon, merchant and craftspeople flocked to this new center of power, resulting in the vast expansion of the city outside the original walls by the 9th century. Multiple districts on both banks of the river hosted hundreds of thousands of Baghdads, Baghdadis. Al-Mansur's creation had become one of the largest and most famous cities in the world. Interesting. Okay, I'm in a wilderness. Uh, there's no viewpoint here, unfortunately. I have to go back here. Look how many souls. Like, imagine if I killed like a dozen of fucking enemies. This lotus room would be like filled with a bunch of souls. Wait, maybe that's how Loki overtook Basim. Is it because of how many people he killed? I'm not really sure, but could be. Like, I really want to know how he ends up becoming Loki at the end. Because in Valhalla, he was not Basim. That's for sure, he was not Basim. It's someone who took the persona of Basim. In reality, he's actually Loki. His mission was to kill Odin. Or at least the reincarnation of Odin. Pay me no mind. And that was Eivor. He thought it was Sigurd. But in the end, he realized that it was Eivor. This estate could hold a hundred horses and camels. I never knew dealing with thieves could be so lucrative. Allahumma ighfir lahu warhamhu wa'afu anhu. You are a good daughter. I was not the child he expected. I wanted to see the world. Heed the call of the chase. Steel meeting steel. Hearts into battle. For him, someone who enjoyed the simple diplomatic life would be a better fit. Despite that, he loved me all the same. The only time we disagreed was due to his dealings with the 40 thieves. The 40 thieves? What well, isn't that the... It can be difficult to resist the lure of coin. Am I playing it's the... When you are accustomed to a certain way of life. So the, the side mission that doesn't come with the game, that comes with the... Like, the one that doesn't come with the standard version? Because I'm I playing on a Ubisoft... Um, but that was not the only reason. 
Give yourself plus subscription, so I'm getting like all this, you know, expansion packs and all that stuff. They speak of a I think so. Full of coin and jewels. I heard about the thing where you get the my desire to see the world. The quest. Yeah, it is this one. To this cave. There is still so much I did not know about my father. I could have helped him or figured out a plan. Sometimes we keep secrets. Especially from the ones we love most. The mark of the thieves. They still live. This means you have been targeted. Now they know where you are, and more will come until you lie still. Is taking my father's life not enough? We shook them up. If we mark the other houses, I can intercept the thieves before more lives are lost. I cannot let them touch my father's body. I will go. Would not want to endanger innocents. Marking a few empty houses will throw them off. Go, Enkidu. Uh, I don't know which one is the empty houses, bro. One here. Okay, but like, how do we know this is the empty house? One more mark. I should hurry. The thieves could appear at any moment. Last one. This should confuse them. Now to wait somewhere above. <clears throat> the thieves should be here soon. The thief should be here soon, like, wait fucking tick towers.
hope Morjana is safe. How do you? I forgot. <laughs> Bro, I... How do you lock targets? I forgot to do that. So annoying. I changed the key button, it's not our... Oh, it's the fucking... D-pad, the down D-pad. I think. Pretty sure. I hate the stamina gauge. Oh my god. Hey, that's your face on the post. Okay, I wanna see if I can upgrade my stamina, because I don't know if there's a kill for that. Like the stamina is so bad in this game. Like you can only dodge like twice and then that's it, you're fucking tired you can't even dodge anymore. Ah, yo, thanks for following back. Thank you. They don't. Well, I was looking around and came across your stream. Okay. Maybe I can help you get out your Twitch. Your injuries are great. Custom graffiti. No, we have bigger concerns. Oh, it's fine. I don't need it. Thanks for. Thanks, though. Before they found me, the King of Thieves was the one who ordered my father's execution, and now mine. What does he want with you? He knows I have knowledge about this cave of theirs. After killing my father, I am just a loose end. He also knows he will not have a lot of peace with me alive. Neither will I, as long as he lives. Uh, but yeah, I don't need it. Thanks, though. My neck. Then we must hunt him first. No, I will not ask you for more. I have yet to pay you for your services. I am not fond of leaving a task unfinished. We can talk payment after this is over. I will go with you. No, let me go on ahead. Lay your father to rest, then look for me. Wait. I found this amongst my father's things. Iftah Yasimsim. A watchword. It could be a key to what my father wanted to find. The real hideout. The cave. Thank you, hidden one. I will meet you there. Time to end your reign, King of Thieves. I. Oh, that's a nice pause. Uh... Oh, that's nice.
That's nice. No, maybe I can find you. Do a close up. Go. Oh, hidden one. I will find you once I regain strength. I should have so far. I might have to go there again. Okay, let's grab the horse then. Lady Ari seems to write ten new songs every day. It is no wonder that I can follow it. Can I go across the river as a horse? Or you can't. Oh, you can't follow the road. There you are. I'm warning you. I don't want to. Why are they on me? I for <laughs> Hey, you. A word. Okay, let me check my skill first. I want to see the stamina gauge. Assassin, there's tracks, load on time. Focus boost, assassin focus capacity. Hey, there is no stamina here. I think it progress with the rank that you're in. So as a novice, I don't think I can do much about it, yeah. I also need to upgrade my weapons. Like, look at this, 36 damage. It's not even much, to be honest. That's nice. Basim regenerates 1% health every 2 seconds while unseen. It looks so nice. Like you, you can't really lie. Even like his outfit, it's just so clean and shiny, and the detail is just so cool. Like even this one is way better than Valhalla's, you know. Anyway, so I have three throwing knives in my... And I have four here, okay, so it's not realistic. I thought it was like based on how many you have.
Bro, what the fuck is that? Bro, what the fuck is that? They didn't even bother like rendering the animals here. Like, nah, bro, this is like so fucking scuffed. Ain't no way. Oh, is that even real? Okay, never mind. It was just not rendered. My bad. Okay, let's see how it looks like. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's it's still not done properly because obviously you don't you don't need animals in this game. Like you don't need to hunt them, but you only like see them from far away. I mean, I get it, but still. I just want to know if you can see lions here. Back to where it all began. They're all back. was your time and I don't like how you can't craft more bombs If the hair sim sim. If the hair sim sim. Is this gonna be like Aladdin reference? Am I gonna find like a fucking a jug? Okay, I thought that this place was empty, but no, never mind. A man's life is not a loose end. The king of these thieves shall pay.
Oh my god. How did I get caught from so far away? Like sometimes they're so clueless that they don't even see you when you're like so close, but then they get like they can literally see you when you're so far away. Now a door. It cannot be hard to find. <laughs> that worked. Even the Banu Musa would be impressed. Now to find the King of Thieves. A man's life is not a loose end. The King of these thieves shall pay. I'm sorry, I took longer. He is... Gone. It was all just... smoke and mirrors. Clever tricks. Illusions. He had us all fooled. Not for long. The blood has been paid. I thought I would feel lighter. Here, payment for your services. What will you do now? I will join a caravan to Samarkand. When my father was alive, we saw many cities and partook in the joys life had to offer. Now he is dead. I have nothing to stay for. Your father's wish for you came true in the end. <laughs> that it did. But not at a cost I desired. But I will go this road alone and meet my father when it ends. I wish you well, Murjana. I hope we find each other again someday. You will find me, but I doubt I could find you, man of the shadow. Wada'an, hidden one.
Goodbye, Mujana. May Allah light your path. Done with this. And this for the shards. Here are artifacts. And now we have to go here. Okay, where is the closest? Um, there isn't any, it's just this one right there. Uh, why is it blue? What is that supposed to mean? Now it's back to... Huh? What see you, my friend? Over here. <laughs> you seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. And you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. <laughs> no, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Oshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Hmm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the Karch I remember. It is your Karch no longer. 
Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat Al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues if we trace trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. Alright. Um Where am I right now? Oh. Master. Are you ready, Basim? Karha waits. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here? To Karh? No. Karh. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. The Order has spread their influence into every crack in the city, turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. Good. The Order's blight falls over Kar, and we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Kar? She does not like the politics. But she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Business is at each other's throats. The obsession over money. <laughs> Perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy. And often corrupted. Come, we're nearly there. Oh, the bazaar. All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to Kar. Spice still clings to the air. What was it like? The first time you took a life? I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the Hidden Ones. You do not remember? My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, Roshan it takes us in our dreams. Like with you and your Jinni. Altair ibn Laahad. The eagle son of no one. No. The Sukh. Roshan, like said, daughter of no one. Some guards came through recently. Oh. Breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods. Mostly from the East Road. The East Road? I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim. I will not. 
I know nothing stays the same. All right. It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. Lies! You in What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong! It is me, Basim! Huh? Nisa Seya? Who? Basim! I am not an idiot! Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim! Little Finch! Look at you all dressed up! Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man! <sighs> so, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> Doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling duo we used to be? How about helping a friend out, for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. Hey, that's your face on the poster. No, it's not. Don't want you here. Hey! 
This must be Kong's crate of tea leaves. Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. I will get another. Kong likely will not know the difference. Stop you! I know that face! I need to get rid of these. Stop you! I know that Stop face! You. Die now! Bro, I'm looking for the posters. I don't see any here. Like, why? It's one here. They are looking for me. Got one more. Vigilant. <sighs> My leaves! 
Praise be to you, little Finch. Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. Bassam delivers once again. Many thanks, little Finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes. yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my basm. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. I want to take a nap after this mission. Uh, if I only slept all... If only, if I only sleep all every single night. I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. Oh, I'm the guy he hates. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Uh, I will think about it. I'm here if you change your mind. You have wasted enough of ours. This is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off no the coin, finger. no safety. You know this. Or we can just take your perfume as payment. Assalamu alaikum. This is not your concern. Move along. Help me, please. I beg you. Maybe this can free your time. Hmm. Perhaps it can. We have worked hard, man. Time for a rest. What wait? We are still. Do not question. Thank you, Saeed. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. 
I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the direct Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. That's way too far. A little bit later. Uh, uh, okay. There should be like another viewpoint here. It's like this is very far away from, you know. Maybe it's like around here. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Anyways, um. Surrounded merchants to the south of the city. The still one is included. Then. <sighs> okay, where is that? It is the near the east gate of Kach, which leads out of Baghdad. It is near some cranes that can be seen from a high vantage point. Okay. East. This one is at the south. Here, that's where the thing is. From a high point of view, a high finish point of here. Here, maybe. I don't see any buildings here we can, like, go to a finish point. Whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. I mean, maybe tonight, or most likely tomorrow, who knows, but yeah. What did I want to buy before? Not that, but was there something else? Eagle Vision? Okay. Also, okay, let me let me check something. I wanna, I wanna know where you can find your pictures on. The gin pack. Master assassin pack. Eh, I like the first one. Wait, how can you change your mount? Uh, I don't see it here. I'm so confused. It's 
it's not on tools. Not on skills, not on codex, not on investigation. Where is it then? How do you change it? Eagle skins can be changed at any stable. This content is unlocked when reaching the Harabia Bearer for the first time. After completing this after you. Yeah. Okay, I got it. If you go to a stable, you can do it through the main menu of I realize not it's the same shit with Valhalla as well. It's alright. Alright, I wanna check the pictures though. I don't think I have it here. I think it's... Yeah, I don't think it's in Ubisoft. Not really sure, man. Like, how do you save it? That's what I want. Social need uh, Yeah, I don't know. All right, whatever. play tomorrow or tonight we'll see like whenever i get the time however right now i just want to go to sleep because i'm so tired all right so whoever's watching hope you have a good day and peace out bye